This is not hereditary, but this is 100% the weirdest and most unique plot that I've sat through this year. Hey everyone, it's Jason from EskimoTV.net. Midsummer is directed by Ari Aster, and if you were expecting Hereditary, which happened to be my second favorite movie of 2018, Midsummer is very different with how it tells its story. Some people are going to love the way it's communicated so bizarrely, and some will despise it, think it's confusing and convoluted. Young couple Danny and Christian, played by Florence Pugh and Jack Rayner, are having problems with their relationship and so they go with a group of friends to Sweden to visit a festival that happens once every 90 years, it lasts 9 days, and really weird violent shiznit unfolds. We see how our characters respond to these weird occurrences, and we are left to wonder why this is all happening. One thing Aster does do tremendously well is build characters that you actually care about, and that was the saving grace. The beginning of the movie has some interesting conversations that were engaging to listen in on, and conflict that most people are going to be able to relate to regarding the couple's relationship problems. You will surely understand who these characters are and want to see what happens with them. Had I not cared about the characters, I would have hated this movie because there's lots of things that did not work for me, but because I truly sympathized with with Danny, I was invested to see what would happen to her. After the characters are established, the plot goes wacko. If you do not like guessing what the hell is going on, go watch a different movie. If you like a plot that is purposefully peculiar and does not naturally make a whole lot of sense unless you analyze it, this might be for you. For me, I did not care too much for this type of storytelling. I'll admit, I was often unsure of why certain things were happening and the motives behind certain character decisions. I don't mind a mystery. I love mystery thrillers, but I like mysteries where I have enough to go off of and to be able to maybe potentially guess what is going on and how it might maybe end. This is not a normal mystery. This is wondering why in the world is everyone doing what they're doing. The pacing is tremendously slow. The movie actually starts off fairly quick, but as soon as that first act ends and the characters are going to this festival, there's shots of them driving, there's a scene where the camera is flipping upside down, there's a long drawn out scene with music being played where everyone is greeting them as they arrive. The characters literally introduce themselves to four or five different festival members and it just felt like such a drag. There's not really a lot that happens. I get this was done to set a tone, but for me, this was really hard to sit through this second act because I was waiting for something to grab my interest. The running time is two hours and 20 minutes, and it would have worked better capped right at two hours. The performances are great, but there's not an Oscar-worthy performance or a Tony Collette at the dinner table type of scene. However, the actors do tremendously well at executing this very non-conventional script. Midsummer is surprisingly funny. The dialogue and some of the things that the characters do mildly amused me more frequently than you'd think for a horror movie. Midsummer does not contain one jump scare, which I actually appreciated, but simply follows the creative director's vision, who is trying to communicate something in a very symbolic way. Viewers thirsting for an imaginative, complex plot open to interpretation will appreciate the direction Aster has taken his sophomore film. Others may call it a convoluted mess. I'm going to give Midsummer a B-.
Let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this review, you can find more at EskimoTV.net. Be sure to like, share this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you'll get notified on the latest Icy and Chili Eskimo TV reviews.